Hey, I'm Kier, and this is that vlog thing that I'm doing. Tomorrow is Thanksgiving, and for a lot of people, that means two things. Turkey and football. I've never cared much for football, so that's never really been one of the things on my list to have on the TV uh, during Thanksgiving or around Thanksgiving. Turkey, yes, certainly, but that doesn't go on the TV. That goes on the table. So what do you watch? on Thanksgiving. Well, there's a few different things uh, that have come out over the years uh, that I enjoy uh, watching around Thanksgiving. Uh, and these are just a few. These are by no means all of the things that I have enjoyed around the holiday uh, for uh, for my personal viewing. But um, like I said, football is not my thing, so don't expect to hear any sports talk uh, about any of that, uh, though I did catch a really interesting sumo wrestling match one year uh, that, that delayed me from getting to the turkey for a little bit. A little unusual, but it was something different. Uh, normally I stick to TV shows and movies, and uh, there's a bunch of them out there uh, with Thanksgiving themes to them. I'm going to mention just a couple, yeah, and in no particular order, mind you. Uh, Friends. The sitcom Friends had some absolutely hilarious Thanksgiving episodes. The one with their football game, their, the one with uh, the turkey on the head. Uh, good stuff. Very amusing, very funny. Lots of animated GIFs online from those episodes. So they had a cultural impact one way or another. Uh, but always funny episodes, uh, and always full of heart in those episodes. Friends was a little iffy with the heart sometimes, but the Thanksgiving episodes usually nailed it pretty well. Another TV show is WKRP in Cincinnati, and they have probably one of the most iconic Thanksgiving episodes that you will ever see. Uh, if you are uh, probably any age over 35, you'll remember it, and it gets mentioned a lot this time of year. I've seen it come up a few times online already. Uh, it's their Turkey Drop episode, where Mr. Carlson, the owner of the radio station, decides to hold a promotion uh, for Thanksgiving. And the culmination of that is uh, one of the funniest, most terrifying, and... Uh, well-delivered lines uh, in sitcom television history. And that's Mr. Carlson saying at the very end of the episode, God is my witness, I swear turkeys could fly. I'll link the clip down in the uh, description, but you need to watch this clip to get the full effect of how much of an impact that uh, episode had on a lot of us when we watched it. Uh, another great thing to watch during uh, Thanksgiving is Adam's Family Values, which has one of the funniest uh, scenes in, in uh, the Adam's Family series of movies, uh, set in Camp Chippewa when Wednesday and Pugsley and all the other um, rejects from the camp are forced to play the Native Americans in the really horribly over-the-top propagandized uh, saccharine Thanksgiving play that the uh, head counselors decide to put on. And that, of course, culminates in uh, Wednesday really pushing the truth on everyone and lots of things get set on fire and mayhem and, you know, standard Adams stuff. Uh, check that one out. I'll probably put a link to that down in the description, too, because it is one of my favorite sequences of all time. And, uh, of course, the one really big deal thing that I have always enjoyed uh, on Thanksgiving Day itself is the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. Uh, and that is just an icon uh, of pageantry and uh, commercialism turned to, to fun and, and uh, just 
good, solid American kitsch. And uh, the, the big balloons, all the marching bands, the horrible lip syncing that goes on on all of the floats. It's just a lot of fun. And uh, the, the senseless banter of completely clueless uh, anchors and, and narrators and news people is always good for a laugh or two for those of us who understand the references that some of the floats have. A uh, handful of years ago, uh, Rick Astley was on board one of the floats uh, singing his big song. And uh, as it came down the road and the music played, people would go wild and cheer. And for the life of them, the commentators could not figure out why such an old song was so popular. Anyone who spent time on the internet knows that rickrolling people is just what you do for fun. And that year, that particular float rickrolled all of the United States. And half the people who saw it didn't even realize why it was funny. Gotta love that. Uh, lots of creativity goes on there. But the really important, really important part of the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade is that right at the end, right at the end, the last float is always Santa Claus. And that means that he's in town at that point. And that, and only then, is when the Christmas season starts. And that opens up the doors to a whole lot more movies and television specials that I always loved growing up. Uh, and it means I'm no longer completely annoyed when I walk into a store and run face first into Christmas ornaments like I've been doing since September. So it'll be nice to not be annoyed uh, when that happens. So I want to know what your favorite things to have on the TV uh, are for uh, Thanksgiving. Let me know down in the comments below. Uh, tell me some stories about some weird things you've come across that have become holiday traditions, anything like that. If you like the stuff I talk about, give me a thumbs up right down there. If you're subscribed, thank you for being subscribed. And if you're not subscribed, hit the subscription button so that, uh, so, so that you get notified when these things come out. And if you know anyone else who may be interested in the stuff that goes on here, share the video with them so we can bring them into the conversation. I'm Kier. That's it for today. I guess I'll see you tomorrow.